recording, so three second pause after I sit, put myself situated. And then you can start. Oh, I'm supposed to take this off. Is it Whenever you take your old ace wrap off, wash it. Yeah, you want to wash it. You want to kind of roll it up as you take it off. That way, the next time you put it on, it's ready. Mm -hmm. Now these will eventually lose their elasticity, and you'll have to buy new ones. Mm. But they last. Usually a couple months, depending on how long you, how much you use them. Turn your chair. You good? I think that's gonna help it better. Okay. Go look and see if that works for you. Ooh, I'm gonna mess up your phone. That's fine. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, when you begin your cross pattern, you're going to start out with the Velcro face up on the bridge of the foot. Can you go around the foot once. Kind of pull it a little bit tight, but not too tight. And then make sure you lock in that first rotation so that it kind of locks in your each wrap. The first one you go down towards the toe, come back around, then up towards the heel. Come back around, then down towards the toe. And this should start to create a kind of a cross pattern. You always operate at angles towards the foot, going up this way, and then down this way. So you're going to go up towards the ankle, and then you're going to come down towards the toe, creating your cross pattern. This is the best way to wrap an ace wrap. It's the most effective at decreasing swelling and stabilizing your joint. This is really good if you have heart failure and you have swelling in your lower extremities. And how you should take this off when you go to bed and replace it in the morning. And at the end you should have kind of this cross pattern all the way down your foot. And it should not be painful. If it is, you may have to take it off and uh, redo your wrappings. And you kind of want to check for tightness at the bottom. You want to make sure it's not too tight. You don't want it to restrict your blood flow, so you're going to be checking for capillary refill at the toe. This concludes your demonstration.